You ready to be infuriated? Because the Nuclear Regulatory Commission is about to <laughs> change how radiation is classified and how much everybody can get because, you know, it's good for you. If you don't think it's good for you, you're crazy and an alarmist. And I'll show you right here. Now, the, dot, the comment period on this travesty is going to end September 8th. So by the time you're watching this, it's already gone. But just know that this is what they're... So here's the summary. <clears throat> the NRC has received three petitions for rulemaking. Ugh, you'll see, the, I'll go into these people. Um, to change the basis of the regulations from the n linear no threshold model of radiation protection to the radiation hormesis model. The radiation hormesis model provides that exposure of the human body to low levels of ionizing radiation is beneficial and protects the human body against deleterious effects of high levels of radiation. Whereas the LNT model provides that radiation is always considered harmful, there is no safety threshold, and biological damage caused by ionizing radiation, essentially the cancer risk, is directly proportional to the amount of radiation exposure to the human body. So the first person that brought this up is Dr. Carol S. Marcus, a professor of radiation oncology, molecular and nuclear medicine, radiological sciences at the David Geffen School of Medicine at the University of California, Los Angeles. So she says, there has never been scientifically valid support for the linear no threshold hypothesis since it was first recommended by the U.S. National Academy of Sciences Committee on Biological Effects of Atomic Radiation in 1956. And that the costs of complying with these regulations are enormous. Second person, Dr. Mark L. Miller, certified health physicist, he filed a petition also saying... Oddly enough, the same thing. There's never been scientifically valid support for the LNT hypothesis and that the costs of complying with these LNT-based regulations are incalculable. Also, let's not leave out that the LNT hypothesis has led to persistent radiophobia. Ooh, scared of radiation. Yes, you should be scared of radiation. It's terrible. Third person, Dr. Mohan Das also filed a petition on behalf of scientists for accurate radiation information, <laughs> whose mission it is to help prevent unnecessary radiation phobia related deaths. That's one of my favorite arguments that these assholes use. Excuse my language. Radiation phobia related deaths. So if you think that radiation is bad for you and you're scared of it and you're ever exposed to some, you'll die from it because you're scared of it. How does that make any sense to anybody except these shills? <sighs> So they're going to help prevent unnecessary radiation phobia related deaths, morbidity and injuries associated with distrust of radio medical diagnostics and therapies. So if you don't like chemo and nuclear radiological emergencies through countering phobia, promoting misinformation spread by alarmists via the news and other media, including journal publications. Fuck you, Dr. Mohan Das. Excuse my language. So they go on to say there's vast literature, in quotes, that demonstrate the low doses of radiation have no deleterious effects. And some studies, wonder who they're funded by, even suggest that low doses of radiation may have protective effects. Hmm. Petitioner writes, the literature showing protective effects supports the concept of hormesis, in which low levels of potentially stressful agents such as toxins, other chemicals, ionizing radiation, etc., protect against deleterious effects that high levels of these stressors produce and result in beneficial effects, lower cancer. So what the saying is, expose yourself to as many bad things as possible in low doses, and it'll protect you from high doses of those same things. Mind-boggling and infuriating. So here's, here's what they're getting down to. This is what they're going to do. Worker doses should remain at present levels with allowances up to 100 I think it's mega sieverts, <clears throat> effective dose per year if the doses are chronic. Alara, so as low as reasonably acceptable, should be removed entirely from the regulations. The petitioner argues it, <laughs> it makes no sense to decrease radiation doses that are not only harmless, but may be hormetic. Public doses should be raised to worker doses. Cool. 
the petitioner notes that these low doses may be hormetic. The petitioner goes on to ask, why deprive the public of the benefits of low-dose radiation? They're doing this for our benefit, guys. And also end differential doses to pregnant women, embryos and fetuses, children under the age of 18. Because again, who cares if you're pregnant, an embryo or a fetus or a child? Stuff's good for you, guys. Come on, it's good for you. And here is why they want to do this. Any potential future accident involving release of radioactive materials in the USA would likely result in panic evacuation because of the LNT, model-based cancer fears, and concerns, resulting in considerable casualties and economic damage, such as have occurred in Fukushima. The petitioner further suggests that a recognition of a threshold dose by NRC would obviate the need for such panic evacuations, associated casualties, and economic harm when radiation is released in the environment. So when the NRC approves this, and because they're all industry chills, they will approve this, they're going to overturn the standard of radiation regulation in the United States since 1956, basically since it was adopted when they decided to start this nuclear industry in the first place. So this is going to overturn that because apparently now radiation is good for you. It's going to help protect you against radiation. So... Get a little bit of radiation, get a little bit of arsenic, get a little bit of pesticides, a little bit of window cleaner, a little bit of any chemical or toxin that you wouldn't want a lot of. Just get a little bit of it and expose yourself to it over and over and over and over and over again. And that's going to protect you against exposing yourself to a lot of it. These people are crazy. Crazy. So unfortunately, the cost associated with keeping everybody safe, keeping these low levels of radiation, it's way too much. It's it's just too much. The regulations, I mean, come on. Do it you're handcuffing us here, guys. The regulations, please. So unfortunately, I mean, unless <laughs> it's cooler heads prevail and, and these bureaucrats actually protect the public instead of the industry, radiation is now good for you. 